All right, we're live. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Sisters United. Look, we are hoping that you have a good time with us today. You know, I'm looking, trying to make sure we got this lighting right. Let me go to Facebook and make sure that we lit up. How about that? Now, those of you that are tuning in, we got some awesome topics today. Let me tell you. And, uh, well, awesome topic. We're going to take this topic on in, I believe. Uh, because we we need to address some of this stuff that's happening. You know, a lot of times we try to stay out of it because we don't know this. But we are... We can relate to different things, you know, if we really, really, uh, really, really take the time to read the details and uh, and research. So we got a topic coming in just a few minutes. But first, I know that Miss Tess has some exciting news about her book. She's doing a countdown. So go ahead, lead us on in. Timmy, tell us what's going on with you. All right, all right. I got a couple things in there. A couple things I'm so excited. I do have a devotional coming out. Um, it's coming out in a few days. We're going to do a big launch. I can't give too much information in regards to it, but it, it's going to be big and it's going to be awesome. It's going to bless a lot of people. It's going to change a lot of lives. It's just right. going to just fill your heart up. Um, I, I worked with some awesome ladies with some awesome stories and and got some things to bring so uh, uh, I have to reveal that on Saturday I have to reveal that on Saturday as well as my book Why Your Refund is So Low is is going to print Uh, my draft copy is coming in today for me to do the final review for the print company and then once I do the approval then my books will be coming out and I will be mailing them out to all my pre-sale um, supporters, I'm so so excited and eternally grateful for um, all the supporters who came through. Uh, some family members came through, some people that have been following me coming came through, and I'm just I'm just I'm just so grateful and uh, I'm so excited. Uh, we we're coming into this tax season, and so it's the right time. I was trying to do it earlier, but um, God said otherwise, and I'm. Uh, my, uh, my tax season is coming through, so make sure you remember KRC Tax and Business Services for your tax preparation needs, where we do tax preparation, tax resolution, as well as notary services. 20 years yeah. in the industry, been in industry for my business for myself since, since 2012. I have a wealth of knowledge um, that can help you out, I offer the bank products, all the things that the big companies offer, I offer just for you, for your convenience. Awesome. Awesome. And it's perfect time for you to be talking about tax season. Tax season is indeed right around the corner. Okay. Don't be waiting to the last minute to figure out, you know, to get yourself together. Now we had a show before where we talked about receipts. She told you about keeping receipts. She listen, and we did say you went out to eat with your family. Stop trying to throw them receipts in there. That has nothing to do with business okay now uh, <laughs> so hopefully a little later on the show before we get off we'll talk a, uh she'll give a, a couple of tips how about that and you definitely want to make sure that you get her book it's going to print y'all so if you haven't pre-ordered make sure you get with her pre-order and uh uh take care of that that's right yes, you're a bla- uh, black woman and all that good stuff uh Tammy, you need to really. I need to talk to you. I'm. A, I need to get a book. Uh, a pre-order me one. Yes, ma'am. Now, what's going on, Miss Keisha? Miss Keisha has joined us, y'all. She's in the hey. building. What's going on? What's up, y'all? All right? Yes, yes I saw ma'am. you out there, girl. I saw your video talk about you out there headed to vote, girl. What went down? Where did you go? Did you step? Did you go to Sunnyside and vote, or you went to a different? Uh, I was in a different location. When I went to Sunnyside, I mean, I was just there. The building was wrapped around. It was wrapped because they were letting people in there wow. when you first walk in the gate. It was wrapped around the building. Then it was wrapped around the parking lot. There was no, I was so excited. But no, I ended up, um, so when I posted that, people started inboxing me, telling me different places that they gone, yeah. where, um, you know, it, it wasn't so much. I didn't care where I vote, honey. They could have gave me a trash can next to the phone booth. <laughs> as long as they had a ballot box in there, I would have gone right on in there. 
<laughs> All right. I know that's right. I know that's right. Yeah. I know that's right. You know, I, I, um, girl, when I saw your video, it, mean, it let me further know not to go to Sunnyside. We went to that little church, uh, not little church, but it was Mount Hebron. I don't know what it is. Right I, went, there. I went to Mount Hebron. Okay, okay, you was Mount Hebron. Uh -huh. yeah, and they even have the drive up. They even have the yeah. drive up voting where they bring the machine out to you. Yeah. Yeah. We went out there and got to take a cab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was about so 15 me, minutes. Did, you about 15 minutes? Did you see for any people you knew at those? I didn't see anyone I knew. It was a lot. You know what? And let me tell you, it was so touching. <clears throat> I saw a lady with her walker. And then oh. when I was in there, a lady had a cane. They let her go right on to the front of the line, and I wasn't even mad. They got her a seat to sit down so she could do her voting. And when I was leaving, it was this um, older lady, honey. She had them to bring her in her wheelchair. Now, they didn't even have oh. to come in. They could have just used the drive through services, but she wanted to come in and cast her vote. Huh. So, you know, I like stuff like that. Yes. I knew you'd be excited. I said, boy, I can't wait to talk to Keisha on the show. I know Keisha going to I know Keisha gonna go in about this vote, boy. Almost 130,000 people voted yesterday. What? And had, yes, it was um 128,000 and something people voted, casted their votes yesterday. So awesome. I need that to happen every day. Come on, show out. That's what I'm talking about. Show I know. out. And you have until October the 30th to early vote. Um, uh -huh. Some poll places are open um, all night, I heard. I haven't seen that. But uh, um, many of them have extended voting, um, doing the, the, um, the early voting. You have until the 30th, but don't delay cash your vote today. Get out Say there it. and vote. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, because I, I was excited. I was, listen, I say if I could take a selfie of, of, of everything else, I definitely can take a selfie of, of me with my voter sticker on. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? When it's a awesome thing because we have to, um, the same excitement we use for other stuff, you know, I could mention how excited we get about buying Jordans and stuff, you know, but we need to have that same excitement towards things that really, really are going to affect our lives. Okay. Yeah. This is this voter. If you're listening and you think this has nothing to do with you, listen to me very closely. Yes, it does. It has everything to do with you and it counts. What's going on, Rita? Hey, good morning. Good morning. I am good. How are you guys? Fine, girl. Good. Good. That's good. Excellent. Oh, they're looking like a superstar. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, what you been up to, Rita? Making it. <laughs> huh. I saw your yeah. crafting going Taking on. Taking it girl. one day at a time. Huh? I saw you craft you were What'd crafting you and everything. Oh, yes. Always. That's what I love to do. So this kind of gives me, um, I'm not sure the word for it, but uh, <laughs> just like my therapy. So I love to, because it's in me, it's part of me. So that's what gives me a life. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, ladies. So before now, Miss Lily has a, a, a awesome topic that we're going to talk about today. But before we do, uh, does any of the other ladies have a topic? Do you want that you want to drop on us today, or or a scenario, or or uh, something you want to just get some opinion on or some feedback on? Drop it now. Let's talk about it. Well, you know, this is Breast Cancer Month, so if I, you know, maybe about. 10 minutes to just give some breast cancer facts and you know we can do that in the next segment though I want to talk about okay breast cancer see my shirt faith, faith strength faith. hope believe uh fight cure yeah, yes, yeah. that's what I'm saying yeah. <laughs> so you got some facts for us today 
I do. I have some um I have some breast cancer information today. I um and all of this you can find on the um Sisters Network um page and they're, they're at Sisters S I S T E R S Network Inc. dot org. And um you can just click on the breast fat um tab. This is the um, the Sisters Network. You know, if you're looking for an organization to give to, they um, support everybody. But um, this is the only African-American breast cancer organization that exists. And they're not just in Houston. They're, na they're, they're nationwide. So if you want to, um, if you're looking for someone to, to donate to, to give to, this is, a, um, this is a great place. The information that they provide um, you know, it's so necessary because as black women, we um, only account for about three um, percent. We we have less proportionately or, or um, percentage wise, less uh, less um, instances of breast cancer, but we die so at a so much higher rate. So. Um, yeah, we have about a three, according to them, we have about a 3% incident rate than white women, but black women are 42% more likely to die of breast cancer than white women. Why? Because we don't do self-breast checks. Uh-oh. We don't arm ourselves with the knowledge. We feel something or have um, things going on and we scared. We won't go in to get checked. Newsflash, if you're having issues or if you're feeling something, Go get checked because if, if it's really an issue, it's not going to go away. It's just going to get bigger. And the earlier you are detected, the better your outcome. Okay. Um, if it doesn't spread, if, it, if, if you can get it where before it metastasizes, which means spreads, you're in a better position localized in the breast because um, push come to shove, they can take them away. And I don't care how fit a woman is, a woman, a woman has, you know, extra fat that they can get. And build you more breath for vanity for vanity purposes, <laughs> and you know keep on going with it or whatever. I always tell people if these things are trying to kill me; they can go, and I, I really mean that. So, um, women, we do not have to die from breast cancer. Okay, it can be prevented, like I said at early stage, meaning um, if you get it before it, it spreads. So, go and get your mammogram if you are forty years old. Or older, um, without a family history. I'm not talking if you, nobody in your family that you know of has ever had breast cancer. You need to go and get your breast check. All the things that they're putting in the air and in our food and different things like that, things happen. If you have a family history of breast cancer, you need to be getting checked much earlier than age 40. Got my first mammogram at the age of 27. OK, and I've been getting them because it does run in my family. And that's just something that um, and they have tests that they can give you to find out if you are um, genetically inclined to breast cancer. And they're not difficult. A lot of it just is a swab in the mouth or a spit in a beaker. So they're not taking you apart or doing anything like that. Right. OK, so. um knowledge i just you know that's the one thing that i keep pushing um knowledge early detection and don't be scared take a friend get you a friend get anybody that's truly your friend i'll be more than willing to go with you um to go and get the breast exam done i know i have gone with total strangers before you know just talking to whatever somebody say they're scared maybe they don't don't want their family to know that they're going um, or maybe that they have issues because they don't want to alarm people. There are people that'll go with you, you know, to your exam or whatever. Like I say, I'm willing, I will meet you there, you know, and, and you know, just kind of be that person to hold your hand. The Rose of Houston, the Rose is a great organization. Um, they deal with people who don't have breast, uh, I mean, who don't have insurance. If you need a mammogram and people who have insurance that are underinsured. Meaning, I have underinsured means that I have insurance, but in order for me to get this mammogram, it's going to cost me $500, although I have insurance. The Rose can help you. Um, discounted may be free, 
And um, if you don't have insurance, they have doctors that um, sign on with them that will take um, one patient like a year at least and take them through the whole process if you need procedures done, you know, and things like that. So reach out um, to the roads, seek information, go to the sisters um, network page and now, take a look and see. Mm -hmm. Now give that website again for the sisters network. Sisters network is sisters, S-I-S-T-E-R-S -S network, dot org. Okay, y'all, I put a uh, link in the uh, in the comments is incorrect, so I'm going to put it again. In case y'all are looking and you click and it goes to some uh, blank site. So I'm going to enter it again so everybody can have the information. We're also going to, um, for the roles, we want to drop that information. So ladies, if you are all in one of the chats in one of the groups, make sure you drop information as well. And you said and that the, 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 um, the website to the roads, of course, it's the www.therose.org, the roads.org. Give them a call. This is wonderful information, and I hope that everybody takes advantage of the information being shared today. And it is, listen, I'd rather you just go in. Oh, we have a comment. Let's read this comment. It says, um, my friend, I think that's what you're trying, is going through a stage four breast cancer, going through stage four breast cancer. And this is so hard because she doesn't have health insurance and cancer is spreading. You say a word of encouragement to her right now. You know, um, I really hate to hear that. So self breast exam, before you get to that point, go ahead. She should be able to get um, Medicaid. Um, the, Medicaid has a cancer program. Um, yeah. So yeah. I don't know if she has the Medicaid or if she's just, I don't know, if she, you know, I don't have enough information, but I know Medicaid does have a cancer insurance. Uh huh. Look into that. She should be able to get Medicaid and okay. um, have access to some good doctors, but contact, um, contact the Rose to see what information of what they can provide for her. They 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 even have um look like little grants that they give for people that are going through breast cancer that um may need to pay some stuff, you know, whatever. So right. um but have her to if she doesn't have Medicaid, have her to contact um what is it? It's um is it two one one, I believe, two one one um to get um yeah, to contact with the people from, from Texas Benefits and let them know. Let her let them know that she has breast cancer and she needs some help. Yes. And um, okay. she can get help that way. Okay. And we dropped the links to the websites for the Rose and for, uh, and for uh, Sisters Net, the Sisters Network. So, um, and we want to, and first of all, we want to just pray. We want to pray for yes. um, her it is a, listen, let me tell you, when you are dealing with a loved one, dealing with something so major, something so heavy, it's yeah. not easy. It's not easy to watch what's Your happening friend or loved and, one, feeling, yeah. and feeling hopeless, you know, uh, or feeling like a uh, helpless, feeling like you can't do anything about it, but you can, you can hold her, you can love her, you can, you can be an encouragement to her, you can, you know, sing to or whatever, you know, and help her in, in, do things to get her mind off of it. And because don't treat her like she's sick. Yeah. That's another but, thing when you go around, you know, have your moments away from your friend. Um, that's another thing too, because I can imagine, um, you know, having to see, you know, a person that, you know, was once so vibrant and full, you know, of energy and you know, whatever, you know, having difficulties, but have your moments away from your friend. 
you know, and don't allow your friends to feel sorry for themselves. You know, because that, that um, you know, a lot of times our mental um, state while we're going through affects the whole outcome. You know, make sure your friend has a relationship with God. You know, okay. And, um, you know, just like, like Queenie said, love on your friend. Love on your friend. So we definitely, uh, like I said, if you need, oh, we have a okay, comment. Okay, Mental Hospital. She's still waiting. Okay. Okay, so that they're working on the Medicaid. Yeah, because I know I would give them a call. It, I, that would be a weekly call for me. What's my status? You know, what's going on? It shouldn't take them that long. And a lot of times you'll be approved and don't even know because they haven't sent you paperwork calling people. They're there for that. They should know your name. Good. I'm glad she has a very strong relationship with God. That right there is important because you know what? I mean, it, it whatever God's will is, is what's going, what it's going to be, whatever it is. You know, you have to be accepting of God, whatever God wills. That's one thing or whatever. I, I've heard of people say that they were mad at God because they asked for something and didn't get it. God is not your ATM. Uh, you know, God is not your, I asked for this, so you got to give it to me. He can, you know, but whatever he has willed and everything that happens to you is really not about you. You know, it could be about that person that looks up to you, about that person who is on the brink of jumping off you know, or whatever, just, and then see you go through and it's like, oh, it's not so bad or whatever. So, you know, keep that. And that's one thing I, I say a whole lot. The things that are happening to you are not necessarily because you're such this horrible person or what did I do? I haven't done anything. Um, why am I being punished? It, it, it might not even be about you. You know, it may not even be about you. You know, it, it may be about strengthening that person that's next to you or that that person you don't even know is watching you is watching. So just, um, you know, just keep your, you know, keep praying, you know, keep your prayers, keep your friend upbeat. I'm glad to hear that she has a very strong relationship with God. And um, we'll be praying on this end too. I will, you know, or whatever. My pastor always, you know, says that if you tell somebody you're going to pray for them, you need to keep up your end of the deal. Or if somebody asks you to pray for them, you should be praying for them. If you don't know how, Pass the information on to somebody that does. Amen. So let's just uh, take a moment and pray for her right now. Because uh, first of all, um, when it comes to you, you do it right then. You don't wait. You know, yeah. you don't, you know, sometimes we we, we uh, wait or, you know, let's find an appropriate time. There's no time more appropriate than the present. So we're going to ask God right now to cover her friend right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for this uh, for this uh, broadcast that made it possible for us to even find out about her. We ask you, Father God, to touch her right now from the crown of her yes. head to the sole of her feet, Father yes. God. Lord, we know you to be a healer, Father God. Yes. We know you, Father God, to be a, a doctor that never lost a patient. But Lord, we need you as a navigate as navigation right now, Father God. Open up the doors and show her the doors to walk through, Father God. Show her where her favor is, Father God. Put her in the in the presence of divine favor and witnesses, yes. Father God. Hallelujah. That one day, Father God, she'll ring that bell and say she's canceled. Yes. We yes. speak that right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because we know that you are powerful and that you are able to do exceedingly and more abundantly above all that we could ask oh, for. Yes. Father God. Lord, yes. so as we unite as sisters, glory to God, in the spirit, Lord, we just ask you, Father God, to just take all of our strength, Father God, and strengthen our sister that yes. may be feeling weak right now. 
We also, Father God, ask that you touch her friend that's on this live with us right now. Yeah. Lord, encourage her spirit and strengthen her heart, Father God. Yeah. Because you wouldn't have brought this across her life if she couldn't handle it. And she can handle it, Father God. So, Lord, help, let us speak into her life that she's rejuvenated, she's ready, and she got the strength to go in, Father God. Hallelujah. Lay hands and speak life and, and get her up and running and, and encourage. Yeah. And we thank you for it encourage right now, Father yeah. God. Hallelujah. And we pray for a friend, even when she cries, even in the pri uh, uh, whatever time she takes away to pray and to cry and to cry out to you. Let her know that you hear her, Father God. Amen. Hallelujah. And we thank you for it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen. and amen. You know, amen. it's always a good time to pray. Amen. amen. And believe God for our sisters. Amen. People always ask me, what's the vision for Sisters United? It's this right here to unite sisters to be strong for one another. Amen. Yes. I may be crying and weak. So guess what? My sister that's up and running and full of strength, she can take me by the hand and she can lead me on. She can take me by the hand and get me uh, a few steps till I get my energy back. That's the vision. That's what we do at Sisters United. We share different topics. We share this. But our ultimate goal is to let you know that you're not by yourself. You're not by yourself. We all going through different things in our lives. But guess what? If I've been there, done that, guess what? I can come over and tell you how God brought me through. I can come over and tell you that if he did it for me, he could do it for you. Yeah. You know? So we just want to be there for you. Who, you know, you can inbox either one of uh, the hosts and they will talk with you and they who whichever one, you know, walk with you through it uh, or whatever. But we want to keep in contact with you. This show is not just, you know, we just get on here just to talk. We want to be there for you. You know, if you need anything, make sure that you get in contact with inboxes, inbox Sisters United, inbox, you know, on the page in the group, because we want to be there for you. Make sure that you access the resources that have been dropped in the comments, you know, and uh, let other people know, praise God, amen, that uh, they can get in the comments too, amen, and find information. Go get a mammogram. Come on. Yes. Go make sure that that you take care of you. One thing that women uh, do is take care of everybody else. And it then when we sense. decide to take care of ourselves, it, we got something major going on. We on four flat and it's tires. out of control. It, yeah, yeah. We, it'd be out of control. So listen, you can't take care of everybody else if you're not here. Do you understand what I'm saying? So make sure you go and take care of you. My husband told me the other day, uh, when is your doctor's appointment? I say, that's what I'm talking about. So you have to make sure you take care of you. Numero uno, take care of you first. I know some people say, no, nah, I got to put others first. But not if you're not here, honey. If you're not here, <laughs> how can you take care of everybody else? So we want to thank Keisha for bring, you know, hopefully in our next show, because breast care of Cancel. Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Rita. <laughs> I just wanted to say before the subject switched for Ms. Paula okay. Smith that um, for as her being a friend, I personally experienced that um, the greatest thing is uh, being a great support system. Um, I actually dealt with someone, you know, the last past year or whatever, my aunt. Um, she has stage four breast cancer. And like you said, as a friend or someone that you love so deeply, um, it's nothing that you can't do. But I literally walked the whole process basically with her doctor's appointment, chemotherapy. I would, you have to be that great support system. You have to speak life when they don't want to fight. Mm -hmm. You got to speak life into them. You have to fight for them when they don't want to fight. You have to pray for them. Um, and like I said, one of the things that I've noticed, um, you have, the great support system is one of the things that's mainly needed because there's days where they don't want to fight. They want it because they go into doctor's poems, they get needles and they get chemotherapy, their body is switching and you have to speak life to them. You have yeah. to because initially they go into doctor appointments every day, chemotherapy, and it's, it gets draining and it's tiresome and uh, spiritually overwhelming. And um, so somebody that to just just sit there. Sometimes you don't even have to say anything. Just be there because we um, little do we know people thrive from other people's strength. Even if they don't say anything, your presence is just enough. 
and um, I just say speak life, be a, a great support system. And it is, it's very detrimental to the person that love, you know, love the person. And you feel like there's nothing that you can do because you don't really want them hurting. You don't really want them to be in the pain that they're in. But um, be, be a friend, be a great support system, pray with them, speak life to them. And if you can go to uh, therapy, radiation, chemotherapy, if you can go with them, drive them, because sometimes they don't really do want to drive and, you know, it get things get very challenging. Um, and so that's what I want to say, because like I said, I, ha I did experience that firsthand and, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's interesting, but, um, I'll just say, just be a great support system to her. And that's, that's one of the things that can uh, help her, uh, fight through the, um, the, the obstacle that's in her life. So yeah, that's just kind of my encouragement. And that's awesome. I'm glad you said that because some people uh, get so they want to support and they don't know how, you know, right. and I'm glad we're sharing all of this information this morning to help people know how to be like, and I like what Keisha said earlier, you know, don't treat them like a patient. Don't treat them like, you know, because some people have the habit of doing it and they can't help it. But we listen to the advice today, you know, be there for them. Go to doctor's appointments. You know, you may be, not be able to make every doctor's appointment, but show up. Uh, be at the house after the doctor's appointment. Take them out for lunch. You know, cook I them a find, meal at home because sometimes they, you know, don't have the strength to really do. Cook them a meal. Cook them a meal. I like you that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Show up, bring a meal. You know, uh, it's always something we can do. You know, to show a person um, to make the load easier Easy. or life. You know, so that's a blessing. Then I, then I think you just remind them that because sometimes when we're in our trials, when we're in our tribulation, we kind of just forget who God yeah. is. So yeah. sometimes we have to be that reminder, remind them, yeah. saying, knowing that God is able. Um, yeah. Cause like I said, my, my aunt, she had stage four breast cancer. And, you know, most people, once they give you the diagnosis, it's like fear will take you out. Um, mm -hmm. And so uh, she actually uh, lived six more years. She fought six years and um, with it leaving it to come back and just, you know, just the whole the ball game of this process. And, you know, thankfully to God, they didn't even expect her to live that long. But by the grace of God, we know that God is able. And we all have an appointed time. You know, yeah. like they say, you don't have to be well to live and you don't have to be uh, sick to die. So we have to know that we have to trust God and trust this process. Um, and sometimes we don't understand you may be the angel of light that that was put in you probably was put in her life just for this reason and sometimes we don't understand why our connection to people and i personally believe in divine connection and i, I believe you know um there's a reason that god put you in her life and this might be that very reason you might yeah. have known her 25 years <laughs> and you know this you know whenever this came up he's like okay this is why God had me in your life to be that support, to be that prayer warrior, to remind you who God is. Because sometimes, like I said, when we in our trials, uh, you don't want to feel alone. You might be that person to make her not feel alone. I don't know yeah. what her life is or what your life is about, but God is able. You got to remind her that because days going to be challenging, very challenging for the for both people, for both of you. And you got to be okay, God. We know that you're real. We know that you're well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask to think. So sometimes yeah. you have to be that strength. Because I remember fighting for her when she couldn't fight no more. She was ready to give up several times she could have lived. But I was like, wait a minute. No, this this is not, you can't be praying for what we're praying against. You can't pray against what we're praying for. And exactly. so you have to be that person exactly. to fight. Because there's, yeah. like I said, times it will be challenging. But at the same time, you got to know that God is able and God plans will prevail. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And and I love, I love, I love this show today because one of the main things we got to understand is uh, the confession out of our mouth, what we say, you know, 
got to understand the power in our words, you know? That's right. You, like, like, like Rita say, hey, God, God prepared you for such a time as this, you know? And I believe, Miss Paula, that God prepared you for such a time as this, for you to go in and be that light that, that, uh, that was Evanly. Her, her friend's name, she said, was um, Evanly. Okay. So Miss Evanly needs, yes. Yes. So, yeah, God has prepared you uh, for this. And you got us. You got four sisters that tell you, hey, hey, we got you. We got you back, you know. And guess what? You can bring, we don't know God's plan, but I do know this. She, her eyes are open and she is still breathing and ain't nobody. Right, yeah. uh, uh, and we go right. and, and we moving in the, the uh, power of God. And we believe in God with you uh, for that. And uh, so we want to go ahead and uh, go into our next topic. Um, we got uh, Miss Lily. I'm going to start us in on something. And uh, yes, I'm going to get into it. What you got? Exactly. And I just, real quickly, I, I, it's so important that when you tell people you're going to pray for, pray, pray for them, definitely make sure you do so. Because a lot of times we say, well, I'm praying for you. I'm going to uplift you in prayer. And we just go about our merry way. And we forget uh -huh. about those things. But we need people to intercede on our behalf. When we do, we're going through something. You know, no matter what it is, no matter how small it is or how you know gigantic it is. Is you know it can be life threatening or it could be small. So when you say you're gonna pray on pray for somebody, make sure you do so. And Courtney, you did that. Thank you so much. That blessed my heart. Uh, our topic, this topic. Uh, I, I'm I'm getting more into you. <laughs> Kisha, you you hold on. Okay, I've been um, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I've been watching YouTube. And because I do a lot of things on YouTube, um, so a lot of things come up, and I've been seeing this um, particular person come up a lot. Her name is Jaguar Wright. Um, so apparently, she used to be a part of the group of Roots. From what I'm, I'm picking up from it, uh, she is spilling a lot of things that's going on, that has went on, and is going on currently in the music music industry. Uh, the first initial video that I watched of her, she talked about uh, P. Diddy, and she talked about how uh, P. Diddy. Oh no, you froze! She froze. Oh Are my! You supposed to tell that Miss Tammy because it froze right when you was about to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Is she still froze? She still froze. She froze in time. <laughs> well, let's until she unfreeze. Let's uh, hold on. Let me. <laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious. Well, she might okay. want to hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, she she holding it right now. So <laughs> let's talk about um, uh, let's talk about friendship. Okay, let's talk about real true friendship. You know. I was just having a conversation with somebody. Uh, um, we talk about loyalty and faithfulness in friendship, which I think is in, uh, I, which I think is in a good, um, it lines up with what we just talked about with cancer and, and this wonderful woman being there for her friend. Mm -hmm. So we can talk about friendship and how important it is to be, to show up how important it is, you know, because sometimes people don't take friendship that serious, you know, especially, you know, as you get older, people grow, people grow apart, uh, you develop new friendships, you know, and how important it is, it is to be, to be, uh, to be dedicated to a friendship, because some people think it ain't that major, you know, people come, people go. How do you feel about it, Rita, when it comes to friendship? Um, I think friendship is um, it's a, important, and at the same time, I think it should be taken uh, very seriously. Uh, I'm not the one that views friendship loose, loosely. Um, 
because I am that loyal friend and I do expect it in return. I know everybody's life is, you know, busy and different. So I do, um, if I do, you know, people busy, you know, we just pick up what we fall, you know, fell off at or whatever. But I think is um, it should be taken serious. It's commit. It's a commit. To me, it's a commitment. Relationship is just not between a man and a woman. You, we have all types of relationships in life. Um, so I think it's a um, loyalty, commitment to being a friend. Um, it should be taken seriously. I don't. I don't take that lightly. Like they say, you can count how many friends you have on one hand. And that I can. <laughs> um, you don't really understand that as a kid, but as you get older, you begin to understand what that means. Um, somebody that can be there for you. Like, I'm their friend. If I can be there, I'll drop whatever I'm doing and boom, I'm there. Um, if that's what you need. And I think it's, you know, and I, you know, I, I believe to take that in return because a lot of times people say they're your friend and yeah, that fair weather situation. Huh? They I'm made me have trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't use that term loosely, and I think loyalty and fr friendship goes into, like you said, it's a hand, it runs hand in hand. So, um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's my friend, that's my friend, that's my friend. I'm like, nah, we're associates. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. uh, we know of each other. I okay with you when you acting right, huh? <laughs> yeah. I think I think I think honestly, it, it some people. I, I had an in, uh, incident where, uh, like they say, you had to pick your face up off the floor, right? Where you think you are friends with a person. But they're not friends with you. They're not your friend. Like Rita say, in your in their life, you're an associate. In your life, they're a friend. That's why I think it's very important too for uh to have communication and be clear. Thank you. Look at my high glue gun. I'm on a I'm on a crafting kick, y'all. High glue gun. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, honey. You are but um I think that anyway, so I had to pick my face about the floor because I'm just, oh, this is my best friend, this is my best friend, this is when I was young. This is my best friend, this is my best friend, blah, blah, blah. And so one day I went to an event, right? And she was there, I was there, and I was just in best friend mode, just whatever. And her best friend showed up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, what? <laughs> right? <laughs> my friend got a friend. <laughs> no. Yeah. So I, I was in my feelings, feeling some type of way. So after the event, I pulled her aside. I said, "What's going? What's going on?" You know, I thought I was your best friend. She say, she say, "Huh? Right? You my friend? You know what I'm saying?" So we, also, I think it's important for communication, even in friendship. You know, because sometimes you could be on a whole nother in a whole nother world with somebody, and they're not there with you. You get what I'm saying? You, you, you know, uh, they really not there with you. And sometimes, and we, and you get in your feelings, you be having attitudes, be serving up the attitudes and all this. And that person really ain't on that level with you, you know. And I, I agree with what Rita said. You know, some people are associates, but you need to establish that and you need to make sure that other person know that too. Because they'll right. be just planning their whole world around they so called BFF. <laughs> Baby. And it ain't you, huh? <laughs> and it ain't you, you know. So, you know, and I, I tell my girls that today too, you know, I tell them about when I was what happened to me when I was younger to make sure that the friends that they gather around them while they saying, This my friend, this my friend, <laughs> you know, make sure, you know, because they love to love and 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 um know how we were you're gonna do they hair you're gonna show up for they stuff you're gonna plan all they stuff then yeah you're gonna show up and you're gonna meet their real best friend is and you got you're gonna be in your feelings so make sure i think it's in your in your um in friendships to communicate is a very important uh part of things you know it's very very important you know another thing that i think is really important with a friendship is to allow your friend to be them yeah, like if you have to mold and craft a friend to fit in your space, you know on, that's not good. And then if you have a person that is allowing you 
to mold and craft you to fit into their faith, that is not what you <laughs> that is not what you need. Like this is me, this is who I am. If it doesn't work, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I, I am truly good with that, you know, whatever, because you know, I'm me. Yeah. And I want you to be authentically you. I don't yeah. want you to, you know, I mean, you know, we might be able to go and have lunch and stuff like that or whatever, but just, you know, know that this is me. You know, uh, I am a very, you know, I'm a very straight up kind of person. A lot of people say, oh, you're so serious. I'm kind of crazy in a way too, but you know, when it comes to, you know, <laughs> you know, when it comes to stuff, you know, just, I don't, I don't get into it, even with my friends. You know, I don't get into that stuff, but if you ask me, okay, just know that you want my true opinion. And, you know, that's the way that I am. You know, you have to allow a person to be a person. And, right, yeah. make sure you're not the one just being um, the friend. Yeah. And, Rita, I'm glad you said that because I, I don't throw you my friend around loosely either. If I call you my friend, you're my friend, yeah. you know. Or whatever, and I, and I have a few friends. Usually, when I get somebody, like when I get somebody, that's my when I call somebody my friend. It's like I got you. Like I don't, you know, really throw them away unless they show themselves. I mean, I have friends that I've had since, um, um, oh my goodness, since middle school. Since um, you know, my friend Karen, she was in tap shoes. She lived up the street from me. We've never had a falling out. We've never, you know. But that's just me. I don't, you know, I stay in my lane. I let you be you. And that's and important. I think the relationship is better like that. You know, it's better. It is. It's better. And, and you don't run into so as many problems as you would if somebody's kind of perfect. Because it's some people. Just a minute. It's some people that don't understand that uh you know are they trying to put on airs i got yeah. this i got all of this i got a nice house and i got it you know and then uh <laughs> and they build you up on some false uh it's horrible but there's some people that do oh they want they them in the driving nice cars and see them you setting up some type of fake yeah, it's hard. And see, stuff it's, like that don't bother me because it's like, okay, if you my friend, you know, generally if you my friend, I've known you forever. You know what I'm saying? And I like to see my friends do good because, you know, it's like, oh, you know what? It's possible. You know, it's not something that I'm seeing on TV or something that I'm seeing, you know, like for, for you know, somebody else. So it's really encouraging. You know, I want my friends to be good. I know, um, and I haven't talked to her in a long time, but, um, you know, I had some, a uh, uh, a friend in, in Dallas and um you know she would always say I, I'm doing worse than all of my friends but she had her own business she had a you know whatever so be around people that can inspire you exactly you know that you look up to or yeah. whatever and you know might be might have the same thing you're doing but doing something else you know a little different with it too right but be yeah. authentic. I like I'm you know, like I, like he yeah. said earlier. Be authentic. You know, you don't you yeah. shouldn't have to become something that you're not and pretend to be something that you're not to be friends, you know. Uh uh and, and I like how you how uh lady y'all are touching on on throwing friendship around, just like we say people be throwing love around that word <laughs> love around like it ain't nothing. So then like you say, some people throw their that uh, uh, friendship around like it ain't nothing, you know, but it should be, I think, it should be things that that uh, should be present. You should have standards even in friendships, you know, because it's some people got to really look at why are you trying to be my friend? Why are you trying to be around me? What is your motive? What is your purpose? Because uh, whether we like to hear this or not, it's some people sent to sabotage the things that's going on in your life. So you have to be particular about who you yeah. surround yourself with. We all have a destiny and things that we have to get done in our lives. And you can yeah, you can put a bad apple in that bunch, you know, and end up with <laughs> some issues that you don't need. So, you know, because I'm telling you, I, I've been around folk that You'll be sitting there, everything is going good, and they get to acting a fool, and you be looking at them like, "Now what happened?" 
what is going on? You know, but you have to, I used to work for Style Magazine and they, and my editor used to say all the time, you're only as good as the people you surround you. Not saying that if this person is a bum, you a bum. That's not what he was saying. He was saying is, what he was saying is you got to be careful about the folks that you link yourself Allow up yourself. to. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Like we were talking about earlier. If I'm going through a weak time, can I draw strength from you? You get what I'm saying? Or are you not going to be available? You get what I'm saying? If, if if you are weak, can you draw strength from me? Or am I not going to be available? I ain't got time. You know, you, your friend call you, get on the phone with you. They tell you about their problems. You mad because you you saying they negative. Can you be a friend through my times when I, you get what I'm saying? When I need to ramble, when I need to vent, when I need, exactly. what kind of friend are you? Right. <laughs> you know. And when they show you who they are, believe them. Believe them. That, that's the goal. <laughs> believe them. Or uh, whatever. And either you can deal with their true self or you can't. So they can be that okay. close to me as east is to west friend. You see what I'm saying? You stay on over there. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Or, you know, but just let, you know, allow people to be who they are. That's, you know, when you really know what you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Now that's true. That's true. Tammy, you want to say something? I I, I didn't know the exact center of the topic uh, because I got about my internet went down for a little bit. I I do apologize. It it sounds like you're talking about uh, true friendship. What true friendship is? Is that that correct? Okay. Uh, I'm one of those type of people that. I, I'm a black reader. I don't call everybody my friend. Generally, if you call my friend, I've known you. I know you for a long time. And people that I talk to that I can relate to, a lot of times I will say, okay, my associate. Um, if you're my friend, my real true friend, my best friend, you're almost like family to me. I have friends that I've been doing since middle school, and my kids call them, you know, um, Nana, uh-huh. Aunt Monique, uh-huh. uh, you know, Aunt Celicia, and so forth. So, you know, they, they're like my sisters. And no matter what, they're going to always be, you know, my sisters. No matter what direction we go in, you know, we've, we've, we're all 40 plus, and we kind of, you know, all going in our own direction. We actually, some of us live in different, well, we all live in different areas, but they're still my friend, and they're going to be my friend for life. Yeah. And I have a really hard time letting people go that been in my life no matter if uh, you was a guy friend of mine and we're no longer together I, I still like to know you know you know how is he doing you know what's he doing is he doing okay is he still in the, life, the land of the living you know I, I have people that I just I just I can't let people go I have a really hard time letting people, people go because you. they become my life you know they, they're part of my life you know you know, um, it, sometimes I have to realize that I have certain people that have been part of my life, and I had to learn that okay, you gotta let this fool go because they bring a drama. Hey, they bring hey, it say all that again. Chaos, and they, <laughs> and I let that fool go. Hey, yeah, yes, I did that little part right there. Let that fool go. That, that's, and I have learned that, you know, and I have, cert, I have a set of people that I, I've been knowing, you know, over twenty years, and I have to say, you know what. I got to cut them off. You know, I hope they do well. I pray for them. I pray for their prosperity. But I have to remove you from my life because as long as I've been knowing you, you have brought drama, and I don't do drama. That's the east do that is to west. Drama. Close to me is east is to west type situation. I, need <laughs> I don't to get drama. that. Get as close to me as east is to the west. Okay? <laughs> to the west, yeah. <laughs> And my daughter told me one time, she's like, well, mommy, you got to not hold grudges. I said, baby, that's not me holding grudges. That's for me. That's me treating you for who you are. I know who you are. The, the saying is, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, because I let myself keep going yeah. before that, because I, you showed me who you are. Like Keisha say, will you show me who you are? Believe them. And, but, and you know, you know, and, you know, another thing, uh, when you were talking to me, this, this came to mind and I always say this, uh, but a lot of relationships, people keep, they know they're no good for them, but they're getting a payoff from them, from them. You know, uh, I'm a, why you got, you know, I uh, was watching movies and said, why you got this joke around everywhere you go? But it was a payoff 
you know, kind of, they didn't want to feel alone. They didn't want to feel like they didn't have no friends. So they keep putting up with stuff. But I always tell people, you got to make space. You know, you got to make space for what's really yours. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and sometimes that fear of, of, of the unknown or whatever will keep you in stuff. Some folk get a payoff from, from uh, like, <laughs> yeah, I always talk about Pookie and Pee Wee. But some folk get a payoff from different people being in their life. You know what I'm saying? They might pay a bill. Yeah. You know, they might do this, that, and the other. And it's sad, but it's that some folk keep dead weight around because it serves some type of purpose for them. But they don't realize it yeah. ultimately sabotages your life. It ultimately, it does more yeah. harm than yeah. good. So you have to be willing to let some folk go. Drop that dead weight. And I know some folk are yeah. saying, that's cold. But that's for real. You know, you, you got one do. life to live. You got one life to live. Yeah. You know, and in that, you got it. Listen, just like you say, associates, some folk well, are some pe are people I pray for. Some folk are folk, you know, but if they become too common in my life, you get what I'm saying? They uh -huh. begin to be disrespectful, talk to me crazy, all the kind of stuff. I don't want to deal if I know your personality, you know, if you have shown me that you are an untrustworthy person or whatever, yeah. then I, I don't want you so close to me. You get what I'm saying? If you have shown yeah. me, especially if you sit down with me and you get to talking to me, you know, and I listen, I'm looking at you like, ain't that your friend? You get what I'm saying? No, yeah. I don't want to deal with you. You know, I don't want to deal yeah. with you because I know that you're going to go over there and you're going to go over there and you're going to talk to them about me and I don't want to deal with you yeah. like that. You see what I'm saying? So. Yeah. It, you have to, right. me and my husband say all the time, for this year, I made a decision. When a person show me what level they are on with me, I'm going to leave you right. I'm going to meet you right there at that level that you are on. I'm not going to expect more from you, and I'm not going to expect, I will just stay right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to walk this thing out with you right there so that I won't be disappointed, and I, you, I won't be setting myself up, you know? Because a lot of times we set ourselves up. We be, we try to pull certain things from relationships with people, you know, that uh, is just not there. You know it's not there, but you just want it from them. And they yeah. can't give it to you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They cannot give that to you. They're not capable. You know, so you that's just like the... That's just like... Okay. Remember y'all were a long time ago the show Girlfriends? Mm -hmm. And Joe was friends with Tony, Jesus. and Tony did stuff that just oh was my just God. Out of ordinary. And, and it makes you be sitting there. I would snatch all her hair out her head if she would have did that to me. So it was that type of relationship, and because they had been friends for years, just like well, Tony was is my oldest friend, but is she your dearest friend? Is she bringing yeah. something to the table, or is she study every time you go up here? She snatch you down a little bit, yeah. and you go up here, and she snatch you down a little bit. You know, because some of the stuff that Tony did, although that's a show. But you know, yeah. you can take that but and say, well, it's you know, reality in somebody's I, life. I would, I would put her hair on her head if she would have done something. <laughs> I mean, you just right. That was one of my favorite shows uh, yeah. because it really did show the dynamic of, of a lot of relationships that that uh, yeah. women are in, and it had every type every type of friendship right in that little bowl of gumbo. I said that is yeah. I love the show. Because I promise you, I was just like you about Tony. I was like, uh, uh, <laughs> really, Joe, really, Joe. But yeah, yeah, you know, you have to go ahead, read it. They would say you can't give um, access to every access uh -huh. to everybody in your life. You can't give your life access. People shouldn't just have that easy access to you. You know, and, that, and that's just kind of. Um, People have to really be privileged to be able to access who you are. Because right. you, gotta, you are not an obligation. I like that, Rita. Yeah, you have to. Um, I, I just think it's levels to it. Like, cause sometimes people that come in your life, and, and me personally, I'm like, um, how can I help you? <laughs> I mean, because, but it's not, it, it don't be nothing mean because at the same time, um, you have to protect you. You know, you yeah. have to protect your peace let's put it like that you have to protect I like your peace. That. and um sometimes people come to bring chaos and i'm not i'm not yep. bored i'm not there I'm for not it. i'm sorry um you got to understand people 
Um, like mm -hmm. I said earlier, I believe in divine connection. If, if God yeah. connected me with you, there's a purpose. I don't just become, I, like I said, friends are not, because um, everybody, truth be told, everybody's not your friend. Everybody's not there for you like you uh, want them to be. Um, and like I, there's a stipulation when I say once you've proven yourself as a friend, it's, you know, there's levels to it. It's not like, oh, like she was saying, uh, Tammy was saying like her kids call her friends like aunt. Yeah, because they don't grew to that level, you know. When you first got to be friends with them, are you just like, you know, they're not gonna know her now, and they're not gonna know her auntie, whatever, because y'all been friends so long, you became sisters, and it it brought you know they showed their loyalty, they showed their support, they showed these things to you in order to, for them to graduate to their level. Had they not, they your kids probably wouldn't even know who they are. So I think, yeah. you know, we just have to understand and um, put those stipulations on people who call friends. Because to me and my friend, I'm like, like, Keisha was saying, look, I'm telling you the truth. Don't ask me nothing. <laughs> don't ask me nothing. And if you I want to know, you might not want to ask me. If you want right, to know, but finesse, that's the thing I expect. I'm not her. <laughs> yes, right. I'm, but, the, but that's the thing I also expect from a friend. Tell me the truth. I understand, even if I don't want to hear it, because to me, if you're my that's friend, true. you're looking out for me. You know, when I can't see or when I don't want to see or I'm blindsided by something, look, tell me the truth. Because at the end of the day, um, if I, if you're my friend and I can't depend on you to tell me the truth, then, you know, yeah. you know, there's just so many things when you consider as a friend um, a stipulation, just like a, it's a relationship, you know. It's a different type of relationship, but it's a relationship. And you yeah. have this commitment, is loyalty, it's all of that, you know, so... You can't really, um, I mean, especially this day and time, people be having uh, motives and, um, you know, they just trying to get what they can take from you yeah. or whatever. Like, and honey, boom, I, once they got I it, they got it. Look good. I ain't got like, uh, <laughs> Okay. Now you feel it so kind of way because you like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. Now we was friends. So I, I'm See, like, I'm really for that protection. I'll bring for that protection to take the take from it. Yes, but um, well, ladies, we have come to that end of the show. So this has been a wonderful yes, topic today. I mean, the first segment was so powerful. We went from voting to breast cancer awareness to meeting with Jesus in prayer, <laughs> praying for our sister. Just a wonderful show. Then talking about friendship. Listen, yes, use some wisdom. Amen. <laughs> Use some wisdom. Everybody that volunteers to be your friend was not sent by God. I just want to throw that in there. All right. So, Keisha, go ahead and sign up for today. Okay. Next week, same time, 10 a.m. Join us, the ladies of uh, Sisters United. Keisha, signing off. All right, Rita. Hi. <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining us today. It was a great uh, topic on today. I was about to say Topic Tuesday. I'm sorry. Um, it was a great topic for uh, today and um, to meet us here next Wednesday at 10 a.m. I do have a curveball though right quick if I can throw it okay. in. It what has something to do with friend, but I know we ran out of time. Um, well, go ahead. Uh, I mean, it could be for next week's show if possible. Um, about uh, being friends before being in a relationship. It has to go with friendship. Do you believe in being a friend before you be in a relationship? Because some people just join, join, go and jump into relationships. We're going to be messy. Ooh, but, <laughs> you know, no, because some people, my 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 opinion on it, I'm not going to give it right now, but my opinion on it, most people think I'm kind of crazy. But um, that, I think that's a great topic to understand because so many people jump into relationships without knowing somebody. So do you believe in being friends or what's your perspective on being friends before you, uh, or do you, it's okay for you to just to join into a relationship without actually being a friend or that's how you get to know the person. I need y'all intake on that. Okay. <laughs> next right, sounds Wednesday. Good. <laughs> sounds good. On the next show, y'all heard it right here. We're going to be talking about it. We're going to jump into it next uh, Wednesday. All right, Ms. Lily. All righty. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, ladies of uh, the Sisters United Talk Show for being here with us to be to have these conversations. Uh, make sure that you tune in. Make sure you follow my page. 
Tammy M. Lilly. Uh, Saturday, I'll be doing a, a big revealing of a project that I've been working on, as well as make sure you order your book, my other book. Uh, uh, why your refund is so long? Use right on my website www.tammytamiemlilly.com. Uh, make sure you order your book. The book is going to print. As well as I want to make sure that we get on this topic that I had started, but my darn internet just started acting up. So you know, a uh, bad internet, bad internet. But that's all right. <laughs> We're still gonna cover that topic. Make sure yeah, you go and, and look at. Videos. Go to YouTube, Jaguar Wright. Watch a video. She's blowing them out there. She's blowing them out there. So, do y'all think that she just scorned or uh, bitter, or do you think she's she's stepping on top of something? So, and I also, I also, uh, I like the topic that you were going to go into because I want to talk about where were these parents, these star parents, with some of this dirt was going on, and what did we talk about? Before the show, Tammy, if you if you want to find the dirt, go where the money is. Go where the money is. Okay. All right, y'all. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Thank you for tuning in. This is United, where it's uh for women, by women, and about women. All right? Y'all have a great, great Wednesday. All right.